Hi, I'm the Three Minute Futurist. I'd like to take a little bit of time to start your thinking in terms of why and how you might look at the future. Today I'm going to look at just a few items as to why it is that the, looking at the future at all is an important thing. Now I know lots of people believe that if you're thinking about the future you're a wild-eyed person. And maybe when you thought straight to beyond today, I think you ought to be looking at tarot cards or maybe tea leaves, which I might add might be an interesting approach. But there are some other reasons as well. Modern futurists like to think of several, and let's just take a look at them. First and foremost, uh, there's a real practical value for looking at the future. You know, we can thoughtfully use the future's thinking to, to address just about anything. Our personal lives, but certainly our professional lives. And we can look at business, government, education, health, religion, family, you name it. We can look at it beyond today. In fact, most of what you're doing today will actually play out tomorrow. Thinking about the future is an important and powerful thing. Now, no one would contend, and no futurist ever really does, that we can precisely predict what will happen. But isn't it useful to think about where we might be and then deal with it accordingly in the present time? If we do that, then we can apply a sort of proactive futures orientation. We can aggressively look at, well, what might be some fairly negative futures, some positive ones, some preferred ones, at least we could think about it. We come to realize that there probably isn't just one future, and there are multiple ones. And, and if we do certain things today to, to think about tomorrow, uh, we might proactively change those futures a little bit in our own favor. Furthermore, futuring allows us to have a vision, um, gives us some way to consider what we might plausibly expect. Um, a lot of people like to say that if you can't have a vision and you don't know where you're going, well, there's no likelihood that you're going to get there. Uh, by having a vision and thinking in terms of the future, uh, we, can, we can begin to understand what our options are in the present and in the future and where we might want to go. We can effectively plan. Now, very often, as Ed Cornish points out in his uh, seminal book, um, you know, we, we don't always have the best of directions or the greatest roadmaps, but maybe having some information about the future and thinking about the future can allow us to better understand what our options are. It also allows us to begin to build our own social realities. Uh, we can, we can enable, it enables us to construct realities if we think in terms of what we need in advance to get there. Certainly, career patterns are great examples. If you decide you want to be a, a nurse or a physician or a lawyer or um, an electrician, you've got to think in terms of the, the various items and various trainings and learnings that you're going to need to get there. You can build your own social and personal reality by thinking about, well, what am I going to need to become an electrician? We can think of the same thing in terms of, well, what's education likely to look like? like? And, uh, in the 21st century. What, what are we likely to think about in terms of health care by 2020 or 2030? By thinking ahead, we may begin to construct that reality right now, have a hand in creating our futures. And last but not least, the future is important and to think about it is important because it allows us to be constructive. It's certainly a mind game on one level but on another, quite a very powerful and useful way of constructing reality. Well, let's just think about one more thing before I leave you today. I'm going to leave you with sort of a, a law, one of the first laws of futuring, uh, and important for you to ponder before we part. Jim Dater, the, the former director of the Hawaii Research Center for Futures, studies at the University of Hawaii, is quoted as having Dater's Law. And here's what it is. Any useful idea about the future should appear to be ridiculous. Now, ponder that one for a while, think about it for a while, and ask yourself, how come that makes sense? Hey, take care and have a good one.